A traction splint is a splinting device that uses straps attaching over the pelvis or hip as an anchor. Metal rods to mimic normal bone stability and the length of the limb, and a mechanical device to apply traction, used in an attempt to reduce pain, realign the limb, and minimize vascular and neurological complications. Upon approach at your patient, gather your level of consciousness and chief complaint. Once finished with the primary assessment, perform a focused exam on the injury and verify that it's not only isolated, but also mid-shaft on the femur and it's also a closed fracture. Have your crew member apply manual traction to the leg throughout the entire process until the splint is secured. Just like any other splinting method, verify the pulse, motor and sensation distal to the injury. Then apply the ankle strap and ask your partner to continue manual traction throughout the entire process. Place the traction splint along the uninjured leg to have an accurate measurement from the ischial tuberosity all the way down to the bottom of the foot. Then extend the traction splint so the mechanical winch is approximately 8 to 12 inches from the foot. Then lock the traction splint in place. Verify that the straps are lined up where two are above and two are below the knee. Take the traction splint to the injured side and place it along the injured leg. It is recommended to never pass equipment over your patient. Prepare the traction splint to be applied by opening all the straps from the ischial strap and the four straps along the way. Have your partner continue manual traction while supporting to lift the leg and then bring in the traction splint. Bring the traction splint at an angle until it's under the patient's leg and slide it up towards the ischial tuberosity. Once it's in place, secure the ischial strap first. Next, secure the ankle strap to the winch. Apply enough traction until the patient feels relief. Then secure the four straps starting from the distal to the proximal. It is worth to note that if one of the straps on the thigh area falls on top of the fracture, you may be able to leave the strap undone. Last, check pulse, motor and sensation once again after the splint is done.